Hey gypsies, welcome back to my channel and happy Wednesday. Um, I got a Dollar Tree haul here. So this morning, which is Wednesday morning, I got ready. Well, I got dressed. I didn't really, I wasn't really ready. I looked like crap. <laughs> but I got ready and I went out to two Dollar Trees. I got enough stuff to film over the next whole week. So I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So I've got four bags here and let me just say they're really good bags. I'm super excited about the things that I got and I can't wait to show them to you guys. Um, if you're new here to my channel, my name is Sherry, aka Twisted Gypsy. I want to say keep saying Keto Twisted Gypsy because that's what it was forever, but it's Twisted Gypsy now and I love doing Dollar Tree hauls and lots of them. So I got some goodies here. Let's get down and dirty and see what we got. So I don't even know. Let me just do the Voro first. Just because I'll always like to. Hold on, bear with me. Bear with me. This is something that I just talked about the other day and I said I have not seen them but at my Dollar Trees one time. Um, so it's the Blackberry Hint Waters. So I did find them today. I think they only had three there. So I did get all three of them and I haven't had one in a really long time. So I'm just going to take me a quick drink of it, wet my whistle and get ready so I can talk y'all's ear off. Ears. Not one ear, ears. Okay. It's always good. I love blackberry. That's definitely one of my favorites. Um, watermelon first, of course. Then probably the apple one that they have. Not the caffeine one, just like crisp apple. And then probably blackberry third. So, yes. But also, they had they had watermelon left. I'm like, I'm going to go ahead. I think I got five watermelon and I got three of the blackberry. I would have gotten probably all blackberry just because I haven't had those in a really long time. So, I'm like, well... Let me at least get get eight. Get eight. Because this is the store where I had to carry everything out myself. And I'm like, I better not go too crazy up in here. So I did get five of these and then the three of um, those. They did have pineapple as well. And they also had the ones with a caffeine kick, which in this store I didn't get any. So that is what those are or most of them. Here is my receipt from that store. So, needless to say, I've got plenty of stuff to show over the next week. Um, also, if you want my Fetch app info, let me know. I'll send it to you guys. You can scan your receipts and earn money or gift cards or, you know, Amazon gift cards and stuff like that. So, it's really cool and you don't have to spend none of your own money to do that and I'm not affiliated with with fetch in any way whatsoever so just letting you guys know that ahead of time okay so I'm gonna go ahead and let's do this um, I found four more of these I really don't know how many I'm gonna need I know my friend Diane is actually sending me a couple as well I, I think she said she had eight I'm thinking and so I'm like I really don't know I feel like that I'm gonna love these so much I might just want to do like a whole wall area I mean I was thinking like just behind my counters but there's also another area I would like to have enough to do like behind my trash can I would love that or on the end where of my counters my trash can goes I think it would be awesome so like Whenever I find these, I'm grabbing them. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know. I don't want to get too many, but like, look at these. Like, don't they look real? Don't that look like real rock? I think that they are absolutely fabulous. I love them. So, yes, I have no rings or bracelets or necklaces on today. My battery power is low, so hold on. Let me, let me get this bad boy plugged in. We don't want our phone going dead right in the middle of a haul. How ridiculous would that be? Okay, I think I got it. I've got my hat on today because my hair looks like a stork's nest or something today. So I'm like, okay. Okay, so I found some really cool books. And I just want to show you guys. Um, obviously, that's what I'm doing, showing you guys. But this right here is the People, like from People Magazine, 1,000 Biggest Moments in Pop, in pop Culture. Fame, fads, and breaking news from 1974 
to 2011. This right here is pretty darned awesome. And when I opened it up in the store, I'm like, for one thing, I knew I was going to get it. I think this would be a great a great uh, bathroom book. I know it sounds crazy, but like I have one in there right now, um, you know, and they get looked at in the bathroom because like, you know, unless you take your phone, you might get bored every now and then. <laughs> I know that's probably TMI, sorry, but yes. So I thought this would be great for that. Um, and like, and I was, as I said, as I was flipping through, I saw like Dirty Dancing. I saw like uh, and, it, and it goes by years. So, see this? 1995, and it goes by years. 1988, oh my gosh. Let me look at 1983 and 4, because, oh, that those were the years. Let me just say, here is Cindy Lauper. I think it's Cindy Lauper. I, I don't have my glasses on, so, uh, yeah. Flashdance, that was such an iconic movie back in the 80s. I absolutely loved it. A lot of these things are probably not ringing a bell. 1984, Miami Vice. Do you remember, like, that was the show back then? Um, there's Where's the Beef. That was 1984. Remember her? Where's the Beef. Oh, my gosh. Ghostbusters. Um... Yeah, I know who that is, but my mind just totally went blank. Um, look at this. Look at that. One of my favorite shows. Me and my husband love to watch that. Um, the name of it just flew right out of my head like some kind of crazy. What? Uh, Breakfast Club. Yes, The Breakfast Club. Um, yeah, 1985. Oh my gosh, guys. This is just absolutely awesome. Remember when Heather Locklear married Tommy Lee from Motley Crue? Oh, my gosh. Then he ended up cheating on her. I'm like, you know, she is gorgeous. If he cheats on her, like, any any man's going to cheat on a woman no matter what she looks like. You know? I'm like, I remember that that I was back then I was like, if he cheats on her, like, what chance do the rest of us have, you know, of having somebody not cheat? Anyway, that was like my thinking back then, apparently. But anyway, this is a really cool book. It is covered up, the price tag, so I won't go through all that. And then I got this one. Do you remember what I said the other day about werewolf books? Now, I do not know if this is a werewolf book at all, but I was in the store, and I was trying to read, you know, just to see, if is this possibly a werewolf book? And it says, Jack sniffed the ground following the strange, acrid scent he picked up before in the woods. It had to be a coyote, a sick coyote, but Jack knew the smell of coyotes, or thought he did. So, it's just like a... I, don't, I really don't know what it is. I don't know if it's about werewolves or not. I don't want to read all of that and bore you guys to death. But I don't know if it's like a book coming from a dog's perspective, which, you know, I've read something like that before, and I thought it was really cute. But anyway, it's a really thin book, so it's not like a huge book or anything. I just thought it sounded really, really cute. So... Yeah, I think it might be from this Border Collie's perspective. So it may not be a werewolf, but it still looks like a pretty cool book. And then, this one right here I got. And, ah, this is so cool. I, there was only one of these, or I would have got one for every dad in my family. This, is, this says, this is the book you give your dad. Everything an awesome father wants to know. And it's a hard back book and it's really really cool it says the perfect gift for the number one man in your life this is the book you give your if your dad is and it gives like a whole list of things but i just thought this was so so cool i don't know who's getting it it talks about tailgating classic cars family car selector um how cute is that like beach day essentials planning vacations, the great outdoors, how to clean anything. I just love the looks of it. As you can see, it's a really cute book. Um, sock styles. I mean, how cute is that? Like an heirloom watch. Um, it just comes with all kinds of info. The father and son and mom who brave their elements, uh, shaving the whole process. It's just so, so cute. There's the back of it. 
there's the front of it and Father's Day is coming up I feel like my husband like he I don't really feel like that he really needs this because I mean like I feel like he already knows this stuff um, so we'll see we'll see who gets that and then last but not least as far as books go <laughs> okay, yeah, I got sold on the cover of the book. I have no idea what the book is about, but when I saw the cover of the book, I'm like, get in my buggy, baby. I need it. I need it. So, it just says, Unstoppable Moses, and let me just see. Let's see here. Moses Hill and his cousin Charlie were best friends, wise-cracking pranksters, unstoppable forces of teenage energy until the night they became accidental arsonist and set in motion a chain of events that left Moses alone guilt stricken and most likely trapped in his dead end town it sounds like a good book like I mean it sounds like something I could totally get into it just and, and just look at it like it's it was meant for me to grab wasn't it like it was meant for me to grab totally and then I was going by um, the Mother's Day cards, and it says, Mom, I love you to the moon and back, and I love it. I mean, I just absolutely love it. Like, it's glittery purple, for one thing, like glittery purple. I mean, you know, a moon, love you to the moon and back. It's absolutely fantastic. So I bought it. Um, my mom passed away when I was 23, so I don't really, I mean, I already got a card from my husband's mom for Mother's Day, but I just couldn't pass it up. I mean, I could always put it in my junk journal, you know, just, I love that the envelope is purple, and it just says, uh, love you to the moon and back, happy Mother's Day. Short and sweet, but I just could not pass it up. I just thought it was great. Okay, so there, wait a minute, there's something else in here. There's that bag, I was going to say. Oh, yeah, this is cool. This is cool, guys. Um, this is fishing net decor, okay? We're going to check this out because I want to see what it looks like. But whenever I do my shelf, my summer shelf with all of the, like, you know what I'm talking about, like all of the seashore stuff, I'm like, this would be perfect to somehow either hang behind that shelf, like, and maybe try to find, like, a starfish or, or something just to hang in this net. I just thought that sounded really, really cool. So, basically, it winds around this right here, okay? I don't, I'm not going to unwind it all, but I am just going to kind of pull it apart a little bit, just so you can kind of see what we're dealing with here. This is absolutely perfect. Look at this. This looks just like a fishing net, and just imagine ha having this hanging be behind a display of, like, you know, of something like that. Like, that would be absolutely cool, like a um, starfish hanging in it, maybe, I don't know, some kind of fish, or just, it's just really cool. Wouldn't a starfish hanging in this be absolutely awesome like a play fake one I'm gonna have to look keep my eye out for a starfish but it looks like it's gonna be pretty long like this is what I have so far and you see how much more needs to be unraveled so this is absolutely cool I'm gonna ravel it back up here just so I can like you know try not to get it all tangled and stuff like that I will say they also had a greenish looking net like this so but this is like the traditional color I think so I went ahead and grabbed it how cool is that though really that is really neat okay next I'm gonna go ahead and do this one um, I got a I found a, quite a few things that I had never seen, had never knew existed. So, first off, I mean, this is not one of them, of course. This is just the wood cocktail picks. I just thought that would be really cool. This for, like, if I make some kind of hors d'oeuvres for any of the summer gatherings or the birthdays coming up. You know, you never know what you're going to make. And this right here would be really cute. I might even find something to make just to use these, you know, and put them on a plate go around pass them out so people can enjoy whatevs so i love that there's all different colors 
up in there and I just think this is a really cute thing to have for if you're having gatherings you know and then I grabbed this this is the iridescent looking pineapple tray I think every single year I end up getting a pineapple tray of some sort so this is the one that I picked this year I love the iridescence of it can you see like look at that it almost looks pink but it's actually an iridescent color like it's so pretty here's the back but this would just be so yeah you can really see that iridescence on the back this is so pretty just to sit in the middle of your kitchen table you can serve stuff on it and I'm not sure what but like finger foods just anything I just absolutely loved it so I'm like okay I'm gonna take you and then these little plates I ended up getting a strawberry set and a watermelon set I actually like to have these plates just to give Jack uh, lunch on a lot of times because uh, a lot of times she just has like a grilled cheese or um, like a bologna sandwich or just something where she just, you know, has to eat with her fingers and you don't really need like to dirty up a whole dish and look how cute they are. Like, I mean, they usually have these watermelon plates every year, but I think this year the detail is like way more amped up. It's just really, really nice. I absolutely love the detail, and it almost looks like um, tie-dyed or like color, what is, watercolor. So I just think it's really, really pretty. So I went ahead and did gra grab both of these. You do get eight plates. Oh, you get 12 in the watermelon. You get eight strawberries, so... And then I saw these gorgeous little things. So these are napkins. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Look at these napkins. Look how cute these napkins are. So they look like ice cream cones. Look how adorbs. These are amazing. I absolutely love them. So I got a green one. Now they, I think they had four but I think I only got three because I'm like, I don't really need a, a million napkins. I've already got a lot of napkins, believe me. But who could pass that up, right? So I ended up getting that one. And then I got this light pink one. Or actually, it looks like vanilla ice cream with like a strawberry or a cotton candy drizzle. And I love that it looks like it has a waffle cone. What is this? A mint chocolate chip with a chocolate drizzle, right? And then we have this one, which looks like a cherry... I mean, not a cherry, a strawberry ice cream maybe with, I don't know, strawberry drizzle even, like, because the drizzle is usually darker anyway, so anyway, these things, these, I'm like, yes, and I can't remember what the other color was, but, and it says party, like, they would be perfect, like, for a birthday party, so I may pull some of these out as well when it's time for my birthday party. Um, I also got this little sign to hang up. Look at this bad boy. They only had one of these. It says, Sweet Summer. OMG. Sweet Summer, baby. Look at that. It's so sparkly. Look how gorgeous. There's even sprinkles. I didn't even notice that because it's just so sparkly. Like, you don't even notice it. Isn't it great? Sweet Summer. I think this would look really cute hanging in my kitchen. It's not too big. It's just a small little sign. So this would be really cute hanging in my kitchen. Maybe even from one of my counter or my um, handles. I don't know. We'll see. But I just, I absolutely had to have that. I loved it. And then I grabbed this right here. And this will probably be for my birthday. First off, I'm going to take these out so you can see how gorgeous these things are like these are so pretty now i've seen a lot of different things and while i was in there today i took so many pictures because i'm going to do a walk through and do a voiceover um probably for tomorrow's video so i took a ton of pictures and i tried to show everything that i didn't get even some of the things i did get i showed and just the different varieties but you get two of these in a pack would you look at this? I mean, I can't. Like, these are gorgeous. These are absolutely gorgeous. They also have, like, tablecloths in this print and other things, too. I can't remember exactly, but to put to fill them up with potato chips, you know, or even popcorn on movie night, you know? Just anything. There's so many things you can do with these gorgeous bowls. They're just cardboard. So, you know, they're going to be, you're going to be trashing them when you're done. But 
they are fabulous. I wouldn't even try to put like potato salad or anything like that. Just something like, you know, even party favors or um, the napkins and I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just could not believe my eyes. I'm like, you're coming with me. So, and I'll be using you. Okay, I'm going to save that until I get over here. Um, first off, let me show you. Oh, I did end up getting these. I forgot. So you only get like six of these, but how great are these? I mean, this is, they totally match. They're totally awesome. And yes, they are that rainbow, gorgeous. I hate that you only get six, but if we don't use them like for the party, like I could always make Jack oatmeal or something like that in these or just give her snacks of some sort. So yes, I had to have those. And then I grabbed these. Speaking of snacks, I grabbed these. These are the Biscolatas. Um, they are mood. And me and Jack actually had a blast with a cup of these yesterday. Because what it is, you reach in and you get one. And they all have like a little picture on them. And then the picture is on the side and it tells you like it says luck or happiness or money or success. Just different little things like that. There's like a little graph. And we just had a blast with these, you know, just planning our future. <laughs> just planning the future, baby, with some cookies. But they're really good as well. They're like cookies, and they have, like, fudge. They remind me of those Panda Express, maybe. A lot like that. I don't know if the Panda Express is Biscolata or not, but they were really, really good. So she'll be glad. She's like, get more of those, Nana. I'm like, okay, I'll do it. And then I just got this from my bathroom just to keep in there. If you remember the other day, I bought a broom just to keep in my bathroom. So I'm like, I need to go ahead and get this just to hang like in my closet, just out of the way. So I'll know where it's at. And it's just tiny. It don't take up much space at all. And then like this is, I, didn't, I have never seen these before. You get two of these in here and I think I'm going to like them. They are from, hold on, Glasses Time. They are from Scrub It, which Scrub It has a few other different items. It says two-in-one, non-scratch, microfiber cleaning pads. So it says cleans quicker and easier, tough scrub side for removing stuck on grime, and microfiber side for wiping, absorbing, and cleaning. So... If you can see, there's microfiber on the inside of these bad boys, and I love the way they're shaped. They're like elongated. They're not round. They're not square. They're not rectangle even. They are like that, if you can see it. And I love that there's that microfiber in there. So that would be really good for wiping things down, maybe using one side to scrub the stains on the stove and then using the other side to wipe them down really good. But I thought that was a really cool deal. So, yeah, Scrub It brand. And it's the scrubit.net if you want to check it out. So, yeah. Okay. And then I'm saving the best until last. I'm trying to dig everything out of here. First off, I found this. I can't remember if I've hauled one of these before. But if it had an avocado on it, I probably did. But I like changing these out like once a month anyway. So I, th I feel like I have the exact same one in there, honestly. But I, I wasn't 100% sure. And it's an avocado. And you know me and avocados. Uh, we have a love relationship going on. So look at it. Super cute. Okay. Next, I've been needing some of these just to hang some cute wall art up in Jack's room. So I like using these clear ones. The white ones, they're a little big, the ones that I found. And the silver ones are just too, you know, I want something that'll kind of blend in and be small. These hold up to one pound. So usually any of those pictures that I need to hang are not over one pound anyway. So I've been looking for those for a while. I've also been looking for some um, paper clips, you know, the big ones in multicolored because like they had like I saw them one time and I'm like oh I don't really need those and then after that I changed my mind about the junk journal and decided I wanted those big multicolored paper clips well I haven't seen them since and now I can't even find just the regular silver paper clip so what's going on with that I have no idea um let's see this right here 
Do I have any more down in here? Hold on. Trying to see. Like, I. Oh, see, this is probably something I can pull out. Yeah, this is probably the only one that's in here right now. So let me go ahead and show you this. This is the Starburst. I've got one of I got one of these the other day. It's in blue raspberry. You only get six in here, but Jack loves these. Like I will take um, one of the old hemp bottles and just fill it up with water and put one of these in it and stick it in the fridge. And she absolutely loves those. So yeah, plus they're just you know easy to grab and go, especially if I've already got it fixed up for in the fridge, right? Yes, I got purple eyeshadow on today, guys. Check it out. You know why? I'll tell you why. As I was putting my makeup on, I was watching Bailey Sarian, of course, and she was putting purple eyeshadow on. I'm like, where's my purple eyeshadow? I gotta have it. Um, here's something else that I got to put in Kendall's Descendants bag, and I ordered her a t-shirt of one of her favorite characters, but this is just something I'm like, I don't know if she would want these or not, but if she doesn't want to use them for nails, she could use them just for stickers because they're really cute. So, yeah, like, I'm finding all kinds of Descendant stuff. And then I found these really cool. This is probably would be a really good thing to put in a Mother's Day collection. Um, it's from Diamond, which, you know, that's a that's a good, that's, I don't think that's a Greenbrier name, is it? No, I'm pretty sure it's not. But let me, let me just take a gander. Take a gander here. The Essential Manicure Set three-piece manicure set from Diamond. Get gorgeous nails with these professional nail care solutions. You get um, a mini nail file, a fun block, and a black block. So, there's your nail file, there's your fun block, and there's your black block. And it is from Diamond Cosmetics, so not a green bar product. So I thought these were really cute. Like they're in a little Ziploc bag. What a cute thing to put like in a Mother's Day bag or something. And then I found some really cute hair accessories. Guys, I'm like, oh my gosh, with my hair, like not being that long right now, I was like, what? So I think I could probably still do it maybe. I don't know. But these are phenomenal. They are from Sincere, shoot, who am I fooling by thinking I can read something? It's from Scunchy. Sincerely Jewels is the name of the brand. So, like when I saw these, I'm like, wow. So, they're hair clips. They're hair clips. And they feel like they are really, like, like they're going to hold your hair good. They're scunchy. They're not like the cheap brand. They're not Dollar Tree, they're not Greenbrier, but would you look how gorgeous they are. They had two different colors. They are both so stylish looking, guys. They are absolutely gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? I absolutely love them. So, yes, obviously I had to have them. I'll put them up till my hair grows a little bit because, like, I'm, like, when my hair is longer, I'm constantly, constantly using hair clips like this. And you just can't get any prettier than that right there. So I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. And then I saw this one. They also had black in this color. Um, and they also have, like, the headbands in blue and black polka dot ones like this. But I just got one. We have a ton of hair accessories right now. And I know I can't use it, but Jack has a dark blue dress with little white things on it she wore the other day. And I just thought that her hair in a ponytail would look absolutely adorable with this little scarf and that dress so yes and then here's something i have never seen i'm gonna have to put my glasses on because i'm like i've never seen this before and i want to know what this is and i did get three because i'm planning on doing some in my or one in my instagram giveaway when i hit 5,000, which i'm getting i mean um a little under 200 away from that it's been growing pretty quick here lately. And then also my um, um, YouTube, of course, I'm going to do a makeup giveaway. And these are going to be maybe not only makeup, maybe sort of a self-care because these are really cool. I was excited to see these. 
and there's two different ones. So first of all, I was trying to make sure they weren't a Greenbrier product, but I could not see Jack up in there. Like, I couldn't see nothing. So it looks like they're from the company Body and Earth. And what this one is, is a shampoo bar. Look how high end. I mean, like, it looks so nice. Like, can you even see? Like, it looks so nice. Like, it's sitting down in a little metal container there. It looks so nice, guys. Shampoo bar, it says, Body and Earth Shampoo Bar Moisturizing Formula with Olive Oil and Coconut Oil. Travel tin included. So, this is a little travel tin. How adorbs is this? And this is in the scent Berry Bliss. And because I'm keeping one for myself, I'm going to smell them. Yeah, so let's take it out. Let's take a gander. So here's a little travel tin. It looks, look at that. Look at that. How cute is that? Body and earth, baby. And then it screws on. But here, it smells good too. So here is this. It is wrapped in plastic, but I can still smell that. Oh, this smells really good. So, yeah, it's like, it feels kind of hard. So, and I don't know, like, a shampoo bar. Like, I'm not really sure, like, if that would, if, I don't know. Like, I've never used a shampoo bar in my life. It says directions, la lather, and I can barely see this, guys. Lather. When wet, I think that says that. Lather when wet. I don't even know. I can't read it. But it is from Body and Earth, so it's not a Dollar Tree product. So I did get three of these. So definitely for giveaways, guys. So I was waiting, um, and I'm still waiting till I find more of these. Hold on. Shampoo, hold on. Berry Bliss, Berry Bliss. Hold on. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. So, I got three Berry Bliss ones. And there's what they look like. So, three Berry Bliss. Berry Bliss. How many times can I say Berry Bliss in one minute? Like, Berry Bliss. Okay, and then they had these ones. And these are in Argon Oil. Which, I want to smell this because argon oil. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. That smells hippie-ish to me. Oh, yeah, I like that. How cool. Oh, it's in the flow. Oh, I heard it roll, too. I don't know where it went, guys. I don't know where it went, but I'll find it. I'll get Jack in here and be like, get under my bed, see if you can find it, because I think that's where it rolled. So, anyway, I got three argon oil, too. So, the winners will receive one Argon Oil and one Berry Bliss. So, how interesting. I don't even know, like, how a shampoo bar would work, but we'll figure it out. Okay. And then I got another set of the spoons with the black handles just because I really, really like these. And, yes. Okay. Oh, here's something that is... <laughs> this is funny. This is fun. Before... I've got some good stuff in this bag. I'm definitely saving it until the end. This is tie-dyed rubber bands, okay? What? Here they are. Tie-dyed rubber bands. Did I need rubber bands? Heck no. Heck no, I did not need rubber bands. Did I buy rubber bands because, they, because it says tie-dyed rubber bands? Yes, ma'am. I sure did. I surely did. So, I mean, what could be better, right? Tie-dyed rubber bands? I'm like, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> and let's see how many you get in here. What brand is this? Like, I mean, like, what does it really matter what brand of rubber band is? Like, you could totally use these for, like, you know, tie-dyeing stuff. Oh, wait. Tie-dye rubber band? Hold up. Okay, so... <laughs> these are for tie-dyeing shirts. That's why they're called tie-dye rubber bands. They're not tie-dyed. I was, I'm just blind as a bat when I'm in a store. They're just regular, they're different colored, but they're not tie-dyed. Are you kidding me? I fell into a trap. They got me. They got me. 
my gosh. Okay, let's just skip that. Let's just skip it. Um, I hope all these things. Okay. All right, guys. Wish list. Okay. Can I just say wish list? Wish list. Yes! I'm so excited. I found these. Okay, I got me a set and I got one set. They will either be in the Instagram giveaway or they will be in the uh, YouTube giveaway. So, I don't know yet, but I am just so excited that I found these. Like, they were in a box on the bottom shelf. Like, everything is always in a box on the bottom shelf. And I am so thrilled to have found these bad boys. They were absolutely on my list. <gasps> Look at that. I want to see... I'm, I mean, I love these. The, the packaging on these things is awesome. Like, let's take a gander. Let's do a swab. Not a swab. What? Okay, this first one is called Limited Edition. It's in Amethyst. There's what it looks like. And we are going to see some colors up in here. Y'all want to see some colors up in here? I don't even know how to open this bad boy. Is this the way? Hold on, bear with me. No. I was so thrilled. I'm like, well, I think that was one of the first times I had actually yelled out in the store. Like, yes! Yes! So excited! All right, here we go. Yeah, I could not wait to swatch these. Yeah, that's the, that's the word, swatch. I could not wait to swatch these. I'm like, and that way you guys can see if you like them, if it's something, you know, that you are going to like. They are wet and wild. Eyeshadow Trio. Hold on. Come off. Okay, so this should open. Okay, here we go. Look at those. Okay, so I'm just going to use a different finger. Okay. Oh, that's light. That's light. Hold on, where did I swatch it? Oh, that's a great highlighting color, though. You know, for the brow bone or the inside corner. This one right here was the one I'm really, it's so sparkly looking. That one right there. So sparkly looking. Let's see about it. Oh, yes. Look at that. And then let's try this one here. Ooh, how fantastic. Oh yeah, you have to put a little color on there too to get it to do its thing. But look, oh my gosh, I love the glitteriness of them and the frost look. Look at my fingers. I love those so much. So that is really, really awesome. Such a fun find. Such a fun find. And then... We have this one here. I'm not going to do all of them. This is the Rose Quartz. Uh-oh. Looks like that one is broken. Look at that. That one is broken. Eek. Eek. Hope none of the other ones are broken because, like, let me double check. Those look good. Those look good. Okay. All of these for the giveaway looks good. And then uh, this last one looks good. Look at those. Look at that green color. I'm going to have to do a makeup um, get ready with me video and use some of these so you guys can see how they look. They are gorgeous. Okay. Let's stop. Okay. I can't stop, but uh, we're still going, guys. We're still going. My husband, I'm, I got this just for him to keep in his vehicle because everybody needs a clipper, an emery board, a pair of scissors, and a pair of tweezers. So that is just for him to stick down in his door pocket or something, you know, just just because. Got this for Jack. I got, had her, I got her one, an Endora one, a while back, and she's got no idea where it is. So, boom. Okay, guys, wish list item. I'm going to go ahead and do this just because I'm excited. I found, I found. I found the 3D Mink Lashes. These are the, whisk, well, there's a lot of different ones. So, there's those. I mean, I am super thrilled about these. Look at those. They're amazing. 
There's these, and I don't even know, does it give like names? Like, I'm so curious, like, is there names or numbers? Yeah, the, yeah, it gives like names, but they're like weird names. Okay, this one is Emperor, Emperador, Emperador, I don't even know. Watch, I'm probably pronouncing that all wrong. Emperador, yeah, that was that one, and then this one was... Okay, I think these may not be English. Like, they might be a different language. Oh, well, this one says Galaxy Jade. So, Galaxy Jade. Look at those. Okay, this one I can't really pronounce, but these lashes are thebomb.com. Look at that packaging, guys. It's gorgeous. And then I found these. Um, these are called Pink Spider. I don't know why they're called Pink Spider. Because I don't see any pink in there. Like Pink Spider. Okay. And then these right here are called Carrera. Look at that packaging. Beautiful. Carrera. And then these right here are called Oasis. These are not very dramatic. So some days you just don't want too dramatic, you know? And then, last but not least, these are called Talahelio. <laughs> Something like that. Talahelio. So, yes, ma'am. I was super excited to find these bad boys. Yes. And then, I also got another duplicate of this right here. I absolutely love this. And this right here is a mystery because, it. I, for one thing, I couldn't read what color it was. Still can't. No, wait a minute. I'm almost... I don't know. I still can't. So, I want to see what color this is. It is a Wet n' Wild. So, and I, I hauled this one the other day. I loved it. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. And, like, I'm just loving it. So, this is like a grab bag. Something you get in a grab bag here. Like, I have no idea what color this is. But we are going to find out together. What is this? Is that a sugar stick? No? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I'm going to show you guys. Can you see? It's a fluorescent. OMG. Hold on. This gives me the 80th vibes of all. <laughs> uh huh. You can put this over anything. And get you like a fluorescent color. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <gasps> Iridescent. OMG. I wish I could read it for you guys. Come on. Let me read this. Let me, let me get over here in the sun. Um, um, um. Are you kidding? I have no idea. I have no clue, guys. Even with my reading glasses on, I can't see it. But, oh wee! I love that. I love that. Okay, and then two more items. This right here is just a, well, let me show you the makeup thing first. I got this right here. This is for the Wet n Wild Limited Edition mm, Face Mist. Wow, my eyesight is just getting worse and worse. It's a face mist. I don't know if it's like a finishing face mist or what. But, there it is. There it is. I just got one. I don't know. It might go in a giveaway. I'm not sure at this point. And then the last thing is this right here. It's from Ink. It's Dual FX. Two colors in one. It has a 3D effect. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this in my next haul. And I'm going to pull them out and check them. And let you guys see. Because we are, what? I can't believe we are this, this much up in a, a Dollar Tree haul. We're like 43 minutes in. Okay, guys. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. That's the like button. Thumbs up. And leave me a comment down below. I'm excited to see what you thought about this Dollar Tree haul. Let me know if you stayed at the end. Just give me a thumbs up if you stayed at the end. Just curious. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye.